with Laura Davenport, <clears throat> and we're talking uh, tulip creamery or tru tree creamery. Are we on already? And we are. We oh, are. Wow, that was fast. I know. I know. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, and you've been over here working. Like I've been yeah. over, you know, just you know, watching Randy and I'm Amber have cheese. fun and talking occasionally and eating cheese. And you've been getting ready to make some cheese. So I am in the process. You're in the process. Tell us a little bit about Tulip Tree uh, and, and kind of what you guys do and what you're doing. Yeah, about. so we are um, and we make handcrafted artisan cheese on the northwest side of Indianapolis. Um, my business partner and I started seven years ago, and our focus is making am amazing cheeses that are kind of unique for this area. So we make some washed rinds and bloomy rinds and cheeses you don't typically, you know, not we don't yeah. make cheddar. Yeah, so, don't get cheddar, and yeah. then we also teach people how to make cheese. So we I, have a classroom I, at our facility. I think that's awesome. We were talking about that. I mean, I, me, I just keep thinking that'd be such a great thing to bring my girls to, have a lot of fun. And then you also sell. Yeah, the, we make these, we sell cheese making kits. Cheese making so kits. So you, you can, can bring what you learn, yeah, take it home, yeah, and do it right there yeah, in, in your yeah. house. So you get to practice once with us. You take the kit home, and then you just continue on. All right. So what do we got going on? Yeah. Here? So right here, I've just put together a comp, like a really something to show you the transition of milk into cheese. I love this, So yeah. right here, we started earlier with milk, uh, and we buy our milk from only Indiana. All right. Um, we go up to Country Meadows and pick up 600 gallons at a time. 600 yeah. gallons. Yes. But we're only starting yes. with like, you know, a yeah, small little small pan right here now, today. Yeah. Once the, um, the milk is heated, then we acidify it. Today I acidified it, it was citric acid. And then we add rennet to it, which is an enzyme that coagulates it and makes it a solid. So this isn't just cooking. This is chemistry. <laughs> yeah. I'm so being... if you can, I don't know if they can see this, oh. but earlier I put in the rennet, I mean, so it transitioned the milk from this um, I don't know if liquid. we're able to turn that. It was yeah. liquid, and now, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was just your milk solid. just warming so, up, and now it's already yeah. becoming on, a solid. Yeah. Cut the, I'm cutting the curds, so yeah. this is part of the process. You get to see what happens. And then once I cut it, it's these, have you ever heard of curds and whey? That's oh yeah, what we have here curds there. It yeah. needs to sit a little longer, but they'll actually be little square curds. And then the step after this is pouring it into like a cheesecloth. So right into a cheesecloth. Letting it drain, uh, straining out as much of the fluid as you need to to make it cheese. I guess they, they can't see that there. Oh, no, they can't. Yeah, we they got a, we've okay, got an overview yeah. of it. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. so this is these are some really loose curds, but they no, they're curds. And then yeah. once the curds will set overnight and we put them into a form um, this is what it looks like the next day so this is an actual cheese that was made yesterday you, the same way I just yes. am, I'm making this cheese so the next day it looks like this which is like essentially a cheese curd and so right now it's just a cheese yeah, curd and so, then we let it sit and you were telling me yeah because I asked you know is it a wrapping or is it the rind and it's actually just the aging process that's that's that around creates that, the that rind creates that. yeah and it just depends that's just how we do it we make natural rind cheeses so we the only thing that grows on the rind is either like in this case white mold we have blue mold cheeses like blue cheese we also have just like you you try to milk we yeah let's, a let's natural, go over and check yeah, out a couple which is of those our natural rind yeah cheese. so i love the milk we yeah, it was a little so more is, like a swiss yeah the so, mozzarella was fabulous and then this is the one that we just made yeah and the, what trillium. Was that? the trillium. trillium the trillium was yeah, yeah. just so yeah. creamy it's our big and, winner yeah obviously just so good yeah. and so if people want to find out more information about you, we talked about they can go to your website, which is tuliptreecreamery.com. Tuliptreecreamery.com. And then yep. also you guys are at several farmer's markets? Yeah, we do four every Saturday in the summer. We do Carmel, Broad Ripple, Benford, and Garfield Park. So you're all around Central Indiana. People can we find are. you find yeah. out information about yeah. taking these classes. Yeah. And we're at specialty markets, too. Okay, so Wildwood Market, Goose the Market, Market District, um, Joe's in Carmel. You are yes. in Carmel. Yes, yep, right so by Carmel. Well, Joe's, yeah. Laura, thank you yeah. so much. Uh, definitely, you need to check this out. The yeah. cheeses are fabulous. Yeah. We appreciate you being here, yeah. showing us a little bit how to make cheese.